Q, season three, episode one. We finally made it, but at what cost, Justin? At, at what, what cost? cost? I don't want to hear this in English subtitles. <laughs> we know some of you guys probably watched in dub with us, and by some of you guys, I mean like four out of like the couple hundred that's actually watching. You know, <laughs> so you feel how we feel about it. But at the same time, I know the rest of you guys are actually like very happy about the fact that we're finally switching this up because unfortunately, we've got no news or no evidence that the English dub's coming out within the next week or two. So what you gonna do? I'm sure we'll get used to it. The funny part is it'll probably take about two or three episodes, which is literally Ooh, like more than half the fucking season. Damn, yeah. What? Oh, you Reading. mean like, Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the only problem with switching. Like, I'm, what? Fuck. I, I've watched a lot of goddamn anime. I'm not yeah, even gonna bother yeah. trying to put my num like the number on it. Well, or since anything, you're a weed, but... you've probably seen like hey, six hundred thousand. <laughs> but the point is that I um I've switched between English and Japanese a lot. Yeah, it usually same. only takes about an episode or two. Like I remember when we were watching the OVA, you know, got yeah. used to it pretty fast. It's just you know I wonder what vibe you know the rest of the characters actually want to get off because this definitely strikes oh, me yeah, one of those shows where people felt entirely different. We saw Oikawa, and he, he was, was different, pretty, yeah. you know, as like, or he gave a different feel as a character. So I wonder what everyone else is gonna, you know, kind of seem like. Yeah. Well, but, um, you remember what happened last time? Yeah, they about to fight Shiro Torizawa, or fight or play or whatever. Man, I'm so scared, bro. I know they got team members that's broken. I've been saying since the first one. The sketchy part about this is they always try to make it seem like it's just um, what's his name again? Oh, no. Tall nigga. The, the, the big dude. I forgot his fucking name. Old ass man is yeah, probably like 45. Dude just like, like 35. Look like LeBron in his prime. <laughs> um, him. They always make it seem like it's just him. But I'm like, besides the fact that they've stated multiple times that this is clearly a team game. They refuse to show his teammates 24-7. Yeah. They like show you said, silhouettes. Like you said, the fact that they beat college teams without him on the field. Yeah, the they, were, they, they had a college team visiting. And, <sighs> and the first time we actually saw him talking. And he's sitting there jogging around the block, yet they're still playing. And I'm like, bro, the rest of his team got to be some kind of broken, too. It's not just him. I know it's not. You know, he probably just takes that big-ass, you know, press. Kind of gives me, like, a jeering vibe to a degree, though. Yeah. So I'm like, I can't really tell what type of character he is. When he said to Oikawa that it was um his pride that was getting in the way of, like, you know, it's funny. I kind of figured or, you know, had him pegged as the... The pride type of guy. Uh, yeah, so apparently not, but... Time to check out this sub. <laughs> He's a smug type that Oikawa's not. Yeah. It's more of an asshole, I guess you would say. So he seems like he seems like yeah, kind of like you. No, no, that that one's definitely no. Opposite. You're an ass. You know damn well that's opposite, man. Yeah. The, um, still an ass. <laughs> yeah, probably. But um, I still feel like out of the five sets, it's gonna go through the fifth. You know, especially since. It's, since this will probably be a whole ass season. Hey, look, Spider Man Far From Fall. Far um, From Fall. Far From Home is there. Anyway, um, fuck, lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, and I think they'll just introduce more characters from, um, you know, their school as the sets go on. Yeah. You know? I'm not sure how many backstories we're gonna get. I feel like we're gonna get backstories for uh, Red Haired Dude and Ushiwaka and maybe one other person. It's Rock Lee guy. Yeah, the, the first year, because. If he's a first year, that means also he's going to be going head to head with, uh, you know, Hinata and Kageyama for a while. You ain't got nothing to say? I don't got anything to say. <laughs> I mean, that was just one of those, like, middle of the pack episodes. Yeah. You know, this had his hype moments and everything, it's just expanding on the uh, battle. I feel like this is going to end around episode eight. And they're going to give, like, two more episodes, you know, towards the end. Yeah, to, like, build up for the next season, too, because I'm like, yeah. it's four seasons. And the manga's still going. I'm like, what the Might hell? be episode 9. Yeah. What do you think is going on? I would imagine that they wouldn't have restarted, you know? But that, at the same time... That'd be really irritating if they lost this, because I'm like... Third, well, the third years would leave. They'd have a whole new team dynamic. Yeah. And trying to make it back to the top. I, I'm always for another Alpha Joe side of the battle. Yeah, but the thing is, I'm just like... They need to win. <laughs> You would figure that they'd have been able to go to Nationals. They need to have plot armor. This is what I'm calling for plot armor. <laughs> Look, this show doesn't really seem too keen in giving them plot armor, so I'm not sure Which how well it's going to go. Sports but... shows don't really do that, I noticed. 
a lot. Because you either win or you don't. Yeah. But I mean, at the end of the day, losing is part of sports, so they probably should put it in a show. It wouldn't make sense to have a team that never loses. I'm like... That'd be very, very boring. Match 10, I know you're going to win because you haven't lost. Yeah. And you just magically get some Yu-Gi-Oh! The harder the cards looking at... Like I said, that is the most time. bullshit plot armor exactly. I've ever heard. Every time this man said the heart of the cards, his his wrist kind of went like this. I'm like, hey, bro, I know you hiding shit. Up your sleeve, you you gotta chill. Cheated. Except for when he was, you know, jacketless. A anyway, that's besides the point. So, you know, we're looking forward to episode three, but we're gonna watch it some other time because we got some meeting to do. So, um, it's late then. Don't forget to subscribe. Check us out on Patreon, of course, and uh, hopefully we see Bogota soon. I know it's hella random, but. <laughs> Hey man, I miss him in the uh, fuck the dude from Nekoma. I forgot his name. The black hair guy. Yeah. yeah, that combination's hilarious.